So the next video is going to be me showing you how to draw dogs. So you're going to need a photo of a dog, or if you've got your dog at home, you can draw them. And a light pencil or a coloured pencil, a dark pencil to clean up, or you could use an ink pen, some paper and an eraser. And if you're working on your tablet, all you'll need, again, is a photo of a dog or you can draw your dog from home. And you'll need to use a light colour on one layer and then add a new layer and use a darker colour to clean that up. And then you don't need an eraser. All you have to do is delete the rough lines to clean up. Also, on the website, there is a printout. So if you find this video hard to follow, you can always use the worksheet to work from. Okay, so the next clip is going to be me drawing on the computer. So I'm not using a pencil and paper. I've recorded my screen so that you can see how I draw the dog. Okay, next clip. Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to draw a dog. Okay, so what I'd like you to do is look at the photo of the dog that you found or if you've got your dog at home, you can have a look at your dog. And I want you to start off by drawing a circle. Then I want you to draw a sausage for the body. Now depending on what your dog is like, it might have a long body, it might have a fat body or a little body. I want you to have a look at the dog or the photo and see what kind of body they have and um, change the shape depending on, on what size it is. Okay, now I want you to draw a rectangle for the muzzle. And again, you might look at your dog and it might be a pug, so it might have a flat face. So have a look at the picture and see if it's got a long muzzle, a short muzzle, and change the size of the rectangle depending on what it looks like. Then I want you to connect the head and the body with two little lines. Then I want you to draw two sausages for the legs. And then if you draw an egg at the back of the body, and then another little sausage, and then repeat that again, then you've got four legs. Now, your dog might have long legs, it might have short legs, very stubby little legs. So again, I want you to have a look at your dog or the photo and see which sort of legs would suit your dog's body the best, okay? And now, next we're gonna put the tail on. So your dog might not have a tail, it might have a big pom-pom tail like a poodle or a big bushy tail like a fox. Okay. And now we can add the ear. So my dog has got just a nice floppy ear because it's a beagle. So beagles have very floppy ears. But your dog might have a pointed ear, it might have a floppy ear. So have, have a look again at your dog and see what their ears look like. And now we just need to add the eyes and the mouth. So you could have uh, a big droopy jaws because it might be a basset hound. Might You could do a big happy face or a sad face. Maybe it's got an undershot jaw. Okay, and then the next step. Now we can work on to our cleanup. So what I'd like you to do is start off with the nose and the muzzle. Okay, so your dog might have shaggy hair on its muzzle, it might have spiky hair. So this is the time that you want to start putting in all of the details now. So have a think of what kind of eyes your dogs have. So some dogs have very calm and relaxed eyes. Some might have really crazy and excited eyes, you know, where they might be, oh, I just want to go on my walk. Some have very droopy eyes, like a basset hound or a great day, and they can always see, they look very tired. Okay, now we're going to clean up the ears. And again, you can add that furry detail on there. So if they've got smooth ears, you can just do nice smooth lines, or they might be curly or woolly. So just experiment with different lines for different fur textures. Okay, and now we can add the collar. Or if you wanted to, you could add some studs on it. It could be a bow tie or a bandana. 
okay and now we start to clean his head and body and again we can try different fur effects so you could do quite a spiky line for some scruffy hair you could do some curls for a poodle maybe some wavy locks for a spaniel okay and now you can start cleaning his head and body and then you can start to clean up the tail so clean up the tail and the front legs and add a little bump on the end of each leg for a paw. You want to do the two front legs first and then the back legs after so that the back legs look like they're behind the dog. Okay, and then the last thing, add two little lines on each paw for toes. And there we have it.